Hi, welcome to my channel. If you are visiting for the first time, my name is Takesh and I am a network engineer. This post is second in the parts of building your own cloud router. In the previous post, we completed sign up with DigitalOcean and set up the instance for remote access. This post will explore the VRNet package and try to install it. So what are the prerequisites? Uh, it's very simple. You have to have DigitalOcean uh, droplet or any VM which has KVM enabled. Right? You need to have Juniper software image and the third one is the clone of the VRNet lab repo itself. The instructions are pretty much there from the uh, GitHub site so it should be straightforward. So let's log in into the DigitalOcean. So here is the catch like Docker and Kubernetes are getting more integrated into the networking world. So simply put Docker provides virtualization and abstraction for the operating system and its function from the host machine by containing everything inside a container. So let's go to the VRNet package uh, to download uh, the repo. So this is where you have everything. So if you go, there are like all sorts of routers and the explanation is pretty clear, like to virtualize it. So the virtualization, uh, different things mean to different people. Generally, uh, when the networking, they might know uh, well about VMware or VMware virtualization. So whoever doesn't know Docker, Docker is similar um, to VMware uh, in a way that it abstracts and puts everything uh, in something called a container, right? So um the other thing that it's very important is like having the vmx itself so you need to download a package called uh, KM, kvm so there are like esxi packages and other packages but uh, you need to download the kvm package for this to work so this is my DigitalOcean console so the way i can uh, verify kvm is first uh, you have to install something called uh, chemo kvm so let's install it apt install cpu checker and the command is uh, kvm ok so let's see kvm ok yeah it says kvm acceleration can be used fantastic so these are the prerequisites uh, for for us to like go ahead and uh, start with our VR lab, uh, VR net lab package. So let's clone it with git clone. Fantastic. So let's go into the VR net lab. So we'll go into our router here. It's VMX. The only thing that you have to do now is like get the image uh, which you have downloaded so i have my image in it just writing down some notes so i have the uh, image in the s3 uh, it's pretty simple like you don't have to have a huge programming knowledge just uh, you can use uh, aws s3 copy so uh, we'll go ahead and install it the instructions are pretty straightforward um, you just have to do make install and um, that will be taken care so we configure and give the key and the password uh, what we can do is like uh, AWS S3 copy and copy the image file into the current directory. Let's do ls and we'll move the the bundle as it is. Don't extract it. Just move the bundle as it is from. Uh, uh, the current directory to the VMX. Uh, go to that particular folder and just say make. So the process will go on. Uh, don't try to cancel it out. It will take some time, close to 15 to 20 minutes if the system is pretty slow. 
or if you have a bulkier system then probably it will complete everything in uh, 9 to 10 minutes so ready to finish it out it tries to mount everything so as long as you see these messages and as long as it like doesn't throw any huge errors then you are pretty much okay the uh, image installation is uh, going just fine So it is uh, uh, reloading the uh, image again and by default VMX or the package itself has a default configuration. So the default configuration will have uh, username and password uh, within it. So um, it will try to um, copy the same configuration. Um, you can verify the username and password there. Uh, the way you can SSH into the box is also uh, pretty straightforward. You pick the IP that Docker has assigned to it and you can straight away SSH with uh, root or VRNet uh, lab user. Uh, the username and password are being configured now as you can see. So this completes the Docker uh, setup. So it's created the docker container now. Um, the way you get the IP is go to the main package and um, they have provided uh, the docker inspect command. So just use as is but make sure that you change the, uh, the name of the docker. So in this case it's my VMX router. Yeah. So it's 172.17.0.2 and the way you can SSH is also um, the instructions are provided there so so that's the console IP if you want to like get into the console just change the name of the docker It's going to take some time the reason i'm not fast forwarding it is like um, when you try to when you spin up the docker and it's like only 10 seconds ago right so when you spin up the docker it's going to take a while uh, before you actually see anything on the console so bear in mind like if you, if you have to like start working on it it would be ideal like you set up some sort of automation which will like actually uh, start doing it so we have the console back uh, we'll wait for the FPC to come back so it's still in the absent state so technically when you have the FPC uh, yeah so we have the FPC now so I would generally configure it in the light mode but uh, uh, it's up to you so next video we'll see how we'll configure uh, LT interfaces, um, work with distribution API and uh, uh, proceed further with these uh, video series. Thank you so much.